Will it come apart? I'm having to shove a chisel into the back, but I think I'm getting it. Nice. That will be the shape of the internal weight transfer system. Getting technical. I feel like that does not help me put it in the exact location it needs to be for both sides by just having this. I need to figure something else out. That should do a lot better. As you can see, I've verified that this is a thing. You gotta let yourself know it's possible. They're going in a little over halfway, the depth of the bearing. Tight bond. We're not gonna need much. We're gonna make this extremely accurate glue placement. Opposite of fence building in the last video. Cross our fingers, there's no squeeze out. We don't glue any of these metal balls to the wood. We're just doing four. The balls are still moving. I'm gonna trust it. Weight is transferring. I don't know if I already said it, but I made that chamber up front thicker so those bearings can rattle in the front, but they just kinda, they can still rattle a little bit in the back, but it's not as much. Very nice. Time to not carve into the weight transfer chamber. Let's not do that. This is mahogany, by the way. It's the same kind of wood that I used. Get this ancient beast out, I still have it. The chipmunk, it was a little knocker too, but I just used the joint back here and kept everything really tight. This was like four years ago. Weight transfer is cooler. I'm gonna angle these ears back a bit by doing that. That can always up the natural look of a mouse or rat bait if the ears aren't perfectly up and down, but they do need to be even. This is a very important detail. 
because really it's the only detail on the bait other than the eyeball. We sanded down to 400 grit. No need to be bashful. This turned into a dark brown mouse. Gorgeous wood though. Wow. Beautiful. Almost just went to bed and forgot to put the eyes on this and clear coat it, but we're remembering. Wow, that looks way better. Just a simple solid black eye made that look really good. Very small amount of sparkly stuff in this clear coat. It's very hard for me not to add sparkly stuff to a clear coat. I said it and forgot about it last night. I didn't check it once, just went to bed. It looks pretty good for the thin clear coat I put on it. Nice even one. I bent this lip to pretty much a 45 degree angle. It's not gonna be 45 degrees on the bait because it slopes up a little bit, but I think that will still produce a wake. If not, I'll adjust it later. Big moment. The screws should pull that metal to the body nice and flush. I feel as though some fish are about to get caught. Okay, there's got to be something mouse tail worthy. That's pretty good. That's already pretty worthy. Let's go brighter. That's a three inch Epic Bait Molds Pentail Worm. Too bad I screwed it up. Let's find another. Here's another. Let's not screw this one up. Three inch tail. It would probably be best with a split ring, but I want that hook point to face up. I don't know, do I? You let me know. So we're just gonna have that hook squeezed directly onto the hook hanger, just like that. Hopefully it doesn't twist on that hook hanger too much and break it loose eventually. Hopefully. That's putting off the vibe. Some sort of universally pleasing lure vibe. Right, let's go find a topwater bite. Glorious. It floats, here we go. It dives pretty hard, dang it. Well, maybe we could bend the lip and get it to not dive so hard. Well, that was easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend it a tiny bit more, but that, that definitely did the trick. Okay. Oh yeah, I do have the option of trying it on the lip too. 
I kind of like the action as is. Those things have orange beak. Oh, those are wood ducks. Look at the wood ducks. They're brave. Oh, there they go. I dig that. By the way, the casting is amazing. It's every cast so far, it's done the correct weight transfer thing and put the weight towards the back. Oh, thumbnail. What am I doing? I really like the way it is. It dives a tiny bit. Oh, well, it's kind of like a jerk bait that floats hard. But if you keep your rod tip up and go slow, it's a wake bait. Fish on! That was top water, pretty much. Pretty much top water. <laughs> it's official. Largemouth, like mahogany weight transfer mice. Mahogany weight transfer mice. <laughs> Be free. Wake bait. Mahogany weight transfer mouse wake bait. It's official. I wonder if it was the noise that drew that bass out of the cover. Sounds good. Metal against wood. Whoa, right at the bank. Pretty much official. Let's see what the line tie attachment on the lip looks like. I don't know what the heck that was. It looks like it just goes upside down. Yep, it's an instant upside down. That's what that does. Maybe a split ring will help on the nose. I think that split ring kind of helped. Oh no, fellas. Well, that is extremely sad. I'm gonna ask you to overlook that glaring stupidity and let's be thankful that there's other people in the world that just send me rat baits. Look at this, grass and bass. Andrew Miller, look at that. This one has a joint and knocks. It'll make a good noise, nice and bright. He sent extra tails, some puds, some flukes. That angling AI open pore swim bait. I've never seen one of these in person until now. And that is just a lovely swim bait. Beautiful stuff, grass and bass, sack, pig, bait, company. I saved taking it out of the plastic for the camera. I don't know why, it's completely, this isn't what you want to watch, but I saved this for you. Ooh, it has the rope connections. Rope, string. Very forgiving, very twistable. And even that is connected to a swivel with a brass bushing around the swivel. Oh my goodness. It's got one of those rattle balls. Rattle ball tail, honk and lip. Square but wider than where it meets in. Huge lip. Sack pig also sent tails and extra long rattle ball and extra hooks. These will actually stay on the top and I am much less likely to snag them, so. My build was kind of a fail. I was going for a rat wake bait. You, you, you could have made it that by fishing with it a certain way. It wasn't really that. These are baits that guys have tested a lot and put a lot of work into and no work. So when I see lips that large, oh. my table saw fence caught the fall, don't worry. Oh. 
Seeing a lip that large off of a one-piece wake bait like this, I think I understand my mistake. That's a lot of noise, man. Let's go catch some fish. Same thing's going down, just an upgrade of the bait. I'm excited. What a lovely bait. And I'm not going to lose it because it's actually topwater. Man. What a fantastic rat bait. <laughs> when, it, when you stop at all the rattles inside of the ball tail, settle to the bottom and you can hear like a It's official. That is three hooks in that bass. Bass like sack pig racks. Bass like sack pig rats. Bass like sack pig rats. Bass like sack pig rats. <laughs> Be free. Ouch. That bush has some sharp thorns. Right on. Let's go see how the other one works from grass and bass. Those were truly some outstanding soft plastics he sent me too. The quality of those pores, mouth watering. This thing's a lot smoother because of the joint. Much less effort is required to fish with this bait. Fish on! Let's slide him over. It's official. Dinkomatic 5000s, like grass and bass rats. Really bright ones. Be free. At least we made it official. Didn't know what to do with my hands there. Now we just need better fish, which might require me to get away from a pond. It's time for a lure rescue. And if we can't rescue, we'll just fish anyway. Let's go. I woke up at five this morning, ate some breakfast, we're out here pretty early. Straight to the bait. I really hope it's not too deep right here. It could have worked itself loose last night too and floated to the top and is on the bank somewhere. Hopefully it's just stuck in this log and it's only two feet deep. I saw this tree over here moving when I was pulling on it. Oh wow. That was pretty stinking deep. Depth of the paddle. Okay, I think I did just touch the bottom. I might not be able to get this bait back. It is very deep right here. I tried, at least I tried. I don't know where it is and it's most of this right here is deeper than this paddle it is long, so. I would just be doing this all day instead of catching fish at five in the morning. So let's find a monster. Whoa. Fish on! I think this is a pike because it really came out of nowhere. Yes. Yes, we got a pike. It's official. My browser rod is really long. Wow, that's a healthy pike. Don't move. Very healthy pike. Strong. He got two hooks in the same spot. I smell poop. Did you poop? Or do you just smell like poop? It's official. Pike like sack pig rats. We got one, fellas. Be free. Absolute snot rocket. I think I'm gonna go feel around for my bait with this rod for a little while. It's probably a heck of a lot easier than 
my paddle. Just gonna be careful. Okay, I think I found where I snagged it. Let go. On this little branch. Don't break off. Chatterbait. What a horrible, horrible mess. How incredible is that, fellas? Am I not held up? That's good to know. Recovered. The weight transfer works good still too. It doesn't sound waterlogged or anything. We did it. So, all the links to all these lures, well the other two rat baits, are in the description below. Even a heroic recovery. Good old lure recovery. That was beautiful. It was in a big bundle of line, snagged line. Blessed with a pike too. Success. One of these days, I'm gonna completely take off that lip and put the front hook hanger back in and see if it walks. Too bad we didn't get that pike on the video's lure, but when you're fortunate as I am and people just send you amazing stuff like this, I'm happy to catch it on this as well. I was looking for teeth marks. I don't even see any teeth marks. Thanks for watching. It's been kind of rainy, so I have not been working on the garden. No bonus gardening. I'm sorry. Maybe next video. Thanks for watching. On to the next bait. I'm having to shove a chisel into the back. Tight bond. Oh. Pretty much top water. Almost just went to bed. Did you poop? <laughs> or do you just smell like poop? I don't know, do I? You let me know.